Oh. What did you think about the fact that he went with just intelligence officials? It sounds like you, you feel like the groundwork is being laid. Uh, maybe, maybe not enough. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about that. But just how he executed this, intel officials, no one from the State Department. Well, the, pro the problem is there's not much happening at the State Department. We don't have a Secretary of State. Uh, a lot of those positions are unfilled. Uh, but more importantly, he has trust in Mike Pompeo. Uh, Mike Pompeo, from an intelligence point of view, has a, probably the best perspective on Kim and North Korea. So he, he was prepared, I'm sure, to be able to sit down. I think the real question now is where does it go from here? Uh, because there have to be uh, extremely careful preparations made for this kind of high-level uh, summit. Uh, there's got to be a discussion about what are the terms that are going to be negotiated. What, are, what is it that we want Kim from Kim uh, in terms of denuclearization, uh, missiles development, uh, nuclear development, and what are we prepared to give in return? Uh, I think it's, it's very important to lay out those terms because what you don't want to do is keep giving Kim uh, things that he wants without getting something back in return. He so clearly wants...